sharing some of the offensive duties. Blitz coming. Ashford will take off. And he's got a monster hole. And Robbie Ashford scrambles for a gain of 19 and an Auburn first down. That's a really good job here. Look at the middle vacated. No linebacker there. Robbie Ashford gets to his first read. Nah, not there. Does the smart thing. Tuck it. Use your athleticism. Well, that's what he's been like all week. Here's Tank Bigsby doing his best Cadillac. And he takes it for 14. On third and 10. Wigman taken down eventually. Oh, a Papo first man there. Second, a loss of four. Good job of effort by Owen Papa. You're going to see him come right here. He's going to get double teamed at first. He's going to fight through it, keep fighting, keep fighting. Boy, he worked through about three guys there. Nowhere to go with the ball for Wigan, but to diagnose exactly what's going to happen. Third and two. Look at this. It's Tank Bigsby on the sweep, and he takes a toss, and he might take it all the way. Bigsby popped out of bounds inside the 20. Andrew and Cooper caught him after a gain of 39 by Camden Brown. Big true freshman receiver coming from this side. Getting a piece of Shamar Turner there. Shamar gets the better of him at the end of it, but that's all he needed to do. Give some daylight to Tank. I'd love to see those receivers getting on the outside, getting involved in the run game. That's how you get those explosive plays. Cadillac almost beat him to the spot, running all the way down the sideline. Bigsby averaging 11 yards a carry. Wide open and a falling catch for a touchdown. 16-yard strike to Javarius Johnson. Previous play right here. Javarius Johnson's going to leak with some guys running off right here. That spot right there is usually reserved for a tight end. You hide your most athletic receiver. Gymnastics fourth in the nation last year. A lot going on on this campus. Baseball team made it to the College World Series. Here's a swing out to Max Wright. By the way, A&M's team went there too. That they've had recently. They tried to go to him on that third down and man coverage. And Donovan Green as well, the true freshman backup tight end, mm. is out tonight. So I'll tell you guys something else cool about Max Wright. The last. There's Derek Hall. These moments are what he says. Time to get paid. Wigman leaves it short and maybe pick. Indeed, it's DJ James with the takeaway for Auburn. We'll check it out right after this. So they have designed shots to get it downfield. Jarquez Hunter is the running back. And Hunter will find some room on the edge. And he's got a first down. Robbie Ashford is a better passer downfield than he is short, and that's a bit of a surprise. Are the reason for a lot of those shorter inaccuracies that you see. He's got a new center now, Jaleel Irvin, and a huge hole for Jarquez Hunter. It's an AM defense that had a really tough time against the run earlier this season. And here's another huge hole. It's Hunter again. Gain of 14 that time. Your real friend. Jordan just mentioned it. Inside zone, the previous play. You go right at it north and south. And then what do you come back with? Power play. Gap scheme. Wigman over the middle. Caught for a first down. It's Devin Price in a huge chain mover for AM. Cover two. 13 running down the middle of the field takes the first seam away Wigman moves to the second seam hits him right in that soft spot Cole Jimbo had a great explanation when you asked him about the value of attacking the middle of the field oh. Hunter looking for daylight may have found it got to outrun the safety and another huge Auburn run Oh, and it's Jacoby Matthews at the top of your screen right there that's going to be responsible for contain. I mentioned all these DBs rolling down into the box. There was really no threat. Of Key third and 15 for Auburn. Ashford's going to have a design quarterback run, and he is blasted. Antonio Johnson takes him down in the back. Start, he's been an impact player tonight. And this is that little quarterback lead, right? Two lead blockers pull a guard. 
mentioned they ran this so many times last week successfully. That's the difference Antonio Johnson experienced talented player that can watch film all walk all week see something diagnose it in real time and. Ashford got tripped up fantastic move by Antonio Johnson Nick Saban in the playoffs and was blown out and he's probably thinking man if I just had the athletes that he has here's some trickeration and Jarquez Hunter. On the reverse takes it all the way down to the 25. That's a 25 yard run. The creativity that Auburn has had tonight. We've seen a lot of different misdirection plays. Opportunities to get Jarquez Hunter Tank Bigsby in space on the edge. Ball on the ground and a scramble for it. A&M says they got it. Look at this. He reaches out. He's supposed to hand the ball, put it in the gut of the running back. He kind of flips it at the last minute. I, who's, I it, who's in the wrong in the spacing? AM got the ball, by the way. Yeah, so a big turnover. It's either got to be a turnaround and pitch it to him or it's a handoff. There's no in between. If you stick the ball out with one hand right here, you got to put it right in his gut. And you can see the way that Bigsby had his hands. He's expecting a handoff. Yeah. You got to eat that one if you're the quarterback. So even if you're the quarterback and you were wrong. Don't be surprised if a Mountain West head coach one day says, you know what, I'll go be the coordinator for 1.8 or 2.2 at a Power 5 school because I have more resources, more players, and I'll be getting more money with less responsibility. That one went off of Stewart's hands. He didn't get after it, and Auburn found it. And Stewart ends up actually touching this ball. 84 for Texas A&M is now wearing number one. Really close, almost a big mistake. As it stands, a 58-yard punt, and Texas A&M. Wigman from his end zone. And Amari Daniels fails to make it back to the line of scrimmage. Lots of misdirection. Ashford, uh, the quarterback keeper. Like, no stacks, no bunches, no movement. There's hoping somebody's going to win a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and right now they're not. At some Completion point. came with a price tag. Cam Riley absolutely blew him up. It's a loss of four on the catch by Amari Daniel. Right, PB, thanks. AM's offense is decidedly not rolling. Wigman lost the football. And he caught a happy hop and it bounced right back to him. Loss of 14, third and forever coming up. Yeah, Wigman trying to pull this one back down. Coverage was really good on the outside. Starts his throw. You mentioned earlier a cold night really extensively the last two years against Alabama. They run more motions. They run more formation variations. By sheer numbers, it is staggering the amount of movement they have pre-snap. It just gets more vanilla and more vanilla the more I watch this team on tape. AM with a huge takeaway. McKinley Jackson tipped it, and Edrin Cooper has the pick. On a stunt here, you're going to see him working to the left, realizing that ball is coming out quick and getting his hands up. It's a great job. It's a defensive lineman. You're evaluating. Do I have time to get to the quarterback? When you see the quarterback stop his drop, if you're not a few yards away from him, you need to get your hands up. So Jack, as long as 51, that came against South Carolina. He is kicking with the wind at his back, but also will push this ball to the, his left. And he absolutely drills it so far tonight. Here's Bigsby. And that's a big run, 15 yards. Getting some stern words off camera from Jimbo Fisher in the first quarter. Wigman to the seam, and what a catch! It's Devin Price. That might be the big play they needed. It goes for 16. And Stewart either, who left the field banged up. Someone's going to have to step up. Devin Price has had a few opportunities tonight, and that is a big-time catch. Good get off at the top of the screen. Wigman stripped! Ball on the ground! Colby Wooden forced it! He came out of the blocks like a sprinter. Quarterback's shoes, and I'm like, wait, what's he supposed You're to do? Shoes and I don't shoes? know what I'm doing. Here's Bigsby. 
And he's got a first down run. That's how you use shoes. You don't put shoes in shoes. You pick them up and you put them down. They bring more in motion. And a quick hit in the backfield to take down Bigsby. Antonio Johnson has been all over the place tonight. Get your bronze star. Unbelievable. Now he's got to put up with us on every, <laughs> every weekend. Wow, what a hit. Madison County. Wow. And that's going to be one that they look at for targeting. There is a flag in the defense. They convert this one and turn it into a monster gain by Amari Daniels. Bigman's able to find his tight end. That's a first. Well, the biggest catch for Blake Smith so far. And they convert another third down. And Amari Daniels picks it up and takes it inside the 20, a 27-yard run. 27 yards, the longest play of the night for Texas A&M. Pressure again, got rid of it. End zone and caught. Touchdown, Jalen Preston. And the Aggies find the end zone for the first time. And once again, got a game. I mean, this is this is the talent that Connor Wigman has. Watch this ball. It's on a frozen rope. In tight coverage to Jalen Preston. Defender draped all over him. That ball hit him right in the chest. Included big help from their All-American running back Bubba Bean. Hand off and immediately stop and he'll stop the clock. McKinley Jackson the tackle. Time out. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.